friends, the lady in today's video or in today's love story looked for me on Instagram May this year, 2023. After seeing her DM on Instagram, I was shocked. I got scared for her, stopped everything that I was doing so that I can talk to her and get to help her before things get worse. Yes, that was the situation. And like you know, I've been telling you that, guys, I love you so much. When you present your case to me, I take it as if it is my own so that I can help you as a sister. That's why I reacted that way. Hi, dear friends. How are you all doing? I hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you know that you are a returning subscriber may god bless you i appreciate much but if it's your first time here on my channel hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that I upload in this channel. So dear friends, at this video is going to be a story time of a South African lady by the name of Paxa in her mid-twenties who found love on online dating apps in less than a month of joining. She found love with a Canadian guy by the name of Rick in his 30s. But guys, what happened to Paxa after finding love in less than a month on that dating app, it's gonna shock you. It will leave you like, what? Bella, how could she do that? But yes, it is what it is. She did it. <laughs> guys, if there is anything that connects me to people, makes me feel so close to them, is by knowing their past story, where they came from, to where they are now. That's very, very important. That's why I told you even in one of my videos that if you are a social media lover, be very careful of what you envy on social media because you don't know where those people you're envying came from. People are traveling all over around the world. People are showing luxurious life, <laughs> you know, but do you know where they came from? Do you know their struggles? <laughs> if you knew, oh my God, you'll just calm down and get to love yourself, get to love your life, yes. So that takes us to our today's video, to Paxa's story. We need to know a bit of Paxa's life background, get to know her past love relationship experience. Was she in a relationship with a South African guy? If yes, how did it go? What pushed Paxa to join online dating apps? How did she know about dating apps? And all that, get to know what happened with that Canadian guy. Without wasting much of your time, let us jump into this video that is going to teach you a lot as someone who is on online dating apps searching for love. It is another educational video concerning online dating. So dear friends, Paxa tells us is coming from a very humble background and her dad is from Lesotho. Yes, came from Lesotho to South Africa in 1991 and then got a citizenship. At that time, Paxa was very, very little. Tells us life was not easy at all. It was very, very tough for the dad to take care of that big family and also take those kids to school. So guys, Pax's dad was a very hardworking man, took care of them, took them to school, did his best. But again, guys, you can see having seven kids, it's not easy. Money wasn't enough at all. So Paxa had to end in high school because the dad couldn't afford for further studies. But tells us among of her siblings, her elder sister studied till university and in 2021, she graduated, got her bachelor degree certificate. So dear friends, due to money problems, when Paxa finished her high school, couldn't go for further studies, what did she do? 
she decided to start looking for a job looked for a job in south africa and eventually found a job as a housemaid she had no choice had to take that job guys we learned something here this is why i treat everyone equally because you don't know people's journey you don't know where they came from you don't know why they are in the situation where they are right now maybe if they were given the opportunity that you got you who feel like you're up there you who feel like you have got everything you're untouchable you know everyone is down there <laughs> maybe they could have been very far to where you are now so treat people equally and you too who is watching this video right now maybe you are in the same situation as paksa doing same same job as paksa but it is not your dream job maybe you dream to be somewhere else doing another job your dream job or doing you know something else that you like you should not stop dreaming keep on dreaming keep on working one day you are going to achieve it don't just give up and be like okay i am going to just be a housemaid this is my life no if you have got a dream work on it you will achieve it trust me dear friends so yes guys paksa started working everything was going very well even the family that she was working for they were such a loving family so she felt at home so dear friends paksa tells us after working for one year for that family because they treated her well felt at home started feeling like she should date someone you know due to the environment you know she was living in a very calm environment environment that gave her peace because if she was living with a family that treated her badly couldn't even think of you know even dating someone <laughs> yeah i think here you get the point also girls of her age were dating paksa is young and beautiful so started praying to god that please god bring the right man into my life and another thing about paksa is a very prayerful lady she goes to church every sunday she's always involved in church activities so was even hoping to find someone at the church <laughs> and guess what guys god fulfilled her dream god answered her prayer met someone at the church this cute south african guy they fell in love he's the first man in her life all was good you know love is in the air <laughs> then started dating so after dating for a while because everything was you know going very very good the love is hot <laughs> new love this south african guy suggested that they should find a place to live together paksa should leave her boss's place and go stay alone with that south african guy because paksa was so much in love with a guy <laughs> everything is hot hot new love <laughs> accepted you know the idea and the guy started looking for the house eventually found the house then paksa paid for the rent oh my god love is really black <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine myself paying rent for a guy like seriously you are a man show me you are a man show me you are responsible <laughs> why should i pay for that rent and not even help her half half no full amount wow so they started living together all was good paksa kept on with her job even the guy was working but sometimes this guy could have night shifts he could sleep at work paksa was at peace cause was in love the guy was in love with her did not get anything to put her in that suspicious situation not at all so paksa tells us that they dated for one year and six months and then it was in the evening that day the guy was not going to work night shift was at home got a call that changed everything so after he received that call started being so restless and very very sad to an extent 
Paxa saw that it's so unusual, had to ask the guy, the boyfriend, what is going on? Why are you like that? Who called you? Lots of questions all at once. <laughs> so the guy was like, Paxa, I am very, very sorry. I think it's time I tell you the truth. Paxa was like, what truth? So this guy told Paxa, the person who called me is my first wife. A tragedy has happened. I have lost my first son. I've got two wives and three kids. Oh my goodness. Paxa was in a shock, very disappointed, but at the same time, couldn't start shouting at the guy. He is someone that has just lost the first son. So as much as Paxa felt like yelling at him, she couldn't do it told him, okay, you just go to your first wife, arrange the funeral and everything. When all is done, you can come and we get to talk about it. So dear friends, I have something to advise you here. I've been telling you, I'll keep telling you. When a guy tells you, I love you, do not relax. You are in that relationship. Take it seriously because anything can happen. You're investing your time. You're investing your emotions. There is family that is looking up to you. <laughs> you know how the situation is in Africa. <laughs> so if you're dating someone, people know that that person is going to marry you eventually. So if you don't take things serious, you're dating someone. Someone disappears at night or tells you I work night shift but there is no even a single day you took your phone to call the guy and see if it's true that guy works on night shifts. <laughs> you have never done that. Where is your seriousness? Please, please let us take things into hands. Let us stop leaving everything to a guy. You trust him a hundred percent. I'm not telling you to start being aggressive or everything that you see, you start questioning, questioning. No, but do your homework. <laughs> Work on things slowly by slowly. And if he is the guy that is trustworthy, he's going to come out clean. He will have nothing to hide from you. But if you see lots of things are not sitting right in your mind, please work on it to avoid future tears. Please, dear sisters. Because I can't imagine myself dating a guy who has got two wives. Of course, <laughs> Time is going to be a problem to that guy. <laughs> How to divide it? And if you're very, very careful, you will find out this guy disappears, you know, some days. You will find out this guy, when he picks the call, he will go to the next room or he will go outside or he will go with his phone in the bathroom. If you really love me, we are so at peace in this relationship. Why should you hide your phone? Why should you go talk outside? <laughs> whereby when my phone rings, I pick it right on the spot without moving to the next room. So it's not that I'm trying to blame Paxa, not at all. Experience matters here. <laughs> yes, remember, he was the first guy in her life. So yes, after the funeral, the guy returned and that's when Paxa was like, you know what? I am no longer interested in this relationship. Let's end it because I cannot be the third wife. The guy begged and was like, no, Paxa, I love you so much. You can be my third wife. Paxa said, no, no, no. And that's how the relationship ended. Guys, it really hurts. I tried to put myself in her shoes. Dating a guy for one year, and six months. It's a lot. It's a lot of time and not dating a long distance relationship. No, you are living together. Meaning at some point you assure yourself that he is your husband. And then in a minute, everything changes. You know, it feels really, really bad to make matters worse. He is the first love. And that's where most women here lose the whole direction. Their self-esteem goes very, very down. But dear sister, never allow that first love 
ruin your life. If he played games on you, he broke your heart, don't worry. You are still beautiful. You will find a guy who will love you the way you are, who will treat you right, who won't put you in love triangles, who will date only you. So yes, after that relationship ended, Paxa was very disappointed in men, never wanted to date, tells us, remained single for nine months. And then one day, met this friend that told her about online dating apps. So that friend told her how incredibly that dating app is the best, told her, but you have to pay. It's a sure deal. You will find the one. Even me, I have found the one on that dating app. He is South African. Even that friend was South African. And Paxa takes us a little bit back as growing up, always wanted to get married to a white man. So when she heard about dating apps, was like, this is the right chance to find a white guy and eventually get married. So yes, guys, Paxa was very excited, happy with the whole idea of finding a white guy to marry her and told herself, with my little salary as a housemaid, I am going to invest. Pay for this dating app so that I can find a white man. So yes, guys, she downloaded that dating app and then paid for the dating app for one month. After paying, tells us, oh my goodness, <laughs> she has never received such kind of attention from guys in real life. Could receive lots, lots of messages, sweet, sweet messages, guys giving her compliments of how beautiful she is. She was so happy and enjoyed it very, very much. So kept on reading their messages, you know, <laughs> and choosing, you know, whom she thinks is very attracted to him. So she kept on enjoying her time on that dating app until came this cute guy from Canada, a white guy, sent her a message and as she went on his profile, found out that that guy was a God-fearing guy. He was a Bible school teacher, whereby Paxa, back home, is a Bible school cook <laughs> and praying is her everyday life. So that one caught her attention. Not only that, that caught her attention, found that in that guy's profile, he stated that he is a business mind guy, whereby Paxa too likes business. She is a business minded lady. So she was like, oh yes, you have got things in common. I think I like this guy. Let me respond to him. So guys, this guy's name is Ricky. I told you from the beginning of the story, his name. So Paxa decided to respond to Ricky and they started chatting on that dating app. All was super, super good. Another thing before I forget, Paxa got Ricky's message in less than a month of joining that dating app. So Paxa tells us Ricky could worship her. Ricky could praise her. Ricky was super, super good. Every day it was sweet messages. When it was time to go to bed, she could go to bed smiling, you know? <laughs> when you feel you've got someone who loves you, someone who gives you that attention. <laughs> My fellow women, you will understand, especially if you have been lonely, for quite some time. <laughs> that one kills us too because <laughs> you stay lonely for a long period of time and when you start getting attention, it really drives you crazy. <laughs> so Paxa and Ricky chatted on that dating app. Guys, I'm going to be sharing with you the name of that dating app before I end this video. But if you have been watching my videos, <laughs> the way I'm talking about this dating app, I think you have got a feeling of what is the name of the dating app. But still, I'll tell you the name of the dating app. So they chatted for a week on that dating app and then Ricky 
told Paxa, can we please move to Telegram so that we can communicate there? Paxa was like, it's okay, we can do Telegram. So they moved their communication to Telegram and after being on Telegram chatting for a week, Ricky started telling Paxa, I want to marry you. You are the woman of my life. I have found the one. You have got everything that I've ever wanted in a woman. Paxa was so happy over the moon. You know, it is her dream to get married to a white man. And then Paxa asked Ricky, I would like to see your relatives, see your parents, because I have never talked to them. Ricky told her, you know what, Paxa, I am so sorry, that is not going to happen. But it's not that, it's not happening because I don't want it to happen. All my parents have passed on and I don't have any sibling. So guys, I am not going to beat around the bush. I'll tell you straight away, that's a red flag. When a guy tells you that I don't have any family left, it's a red flag. Yes, guys, right now you're like, but Bella, it can happen. Because, <laughs> you know, these things are normal. It's the world that we are living in. I agree with you. Yes, it can happen. A guy to not have anyone in his life. But the problem comes after the guy telling you that I don't have anyone in my life. If that relationship keeps on going, it's time you guys to meet. Maybe this guy should invite you in his country. Then he starts stories <laughs> that he cannot invite you. Girl, that's a red flag. Yes. If you are chatting with that guy, he tells you, I don't have anyone in my family left. <laughs> and then you're like, okay, but you keep talking and talking. He has never introduced you to his friends. At least if he doesn't have any family, this guy has got friends, right? But never ever introduce you to any of his friends. Girl, that's a red flag. <laughs> If you're chatting with this guy, he tells you, I don't have any family left. <laughs> it's me only in this world. <laughs> and then this guy starts disappearing. It's weekend. He's not available. It's during holidays like Christmas. The guy is not available. It's Easter. He's not available. Valentine is not available. This guy is always busy. We have got a problem. But if you're chatting with a guy, then this guy tells you, I've got nobody, I'm alone, but introduces you maybe to his friends because they matter so much to him or even one friend, you know, that best friend. <laughs> yeah, then you know a guy, maybe he is genuine. You start talking of meeting, same, same guy. I'm talking about the guy who said doesn't have anyone in his life. Then you start talking of meeting. The guy tells you, I can come, but also you can come. I'll take care of everything of your trip if you're to come to see me because I would like you to see my life. A guy is very open in everything that he does in his life then we can believe he is alone. But those ones who tell you I am alone, then I am alone get accompanied by all those things that I told you. It's a red flag, guys. Better run before it's too late. But Paxa believed the guy that he has got nobody because was so much in love with the guy and didn't have Bella, you know, to tell her this. <laughs> yeah, didn't know anything about my YouTube channel. It's so obvious to see a lady excited over the moon when you hear the guy you have been dating, the guy that you really love genuinely, <laughs> tells you I am going to get married to you. So Paxa was so excited and had to share the news to her mother, to her siblings, and to her friends. They were all happy, even had to show the photo of Ricky to her mom. Her mom was so happy and was like, wow, he's really cute. And when you hear your boyfriend is cute, you become so proud. 
<laughs> there is that feeling that you feel, you know, as a woman. So that's how Paxa felt when the mother said he's cute. The friends are like, he's so cute. We are so happy for you. We can't wait for the wedding. Yeah. So guys, let's go back to Paxa and Ricky's relationship. When Ricky told Paxa about getting married to her, was like, I want our wedding to be done in Canada. But the truth is, I was born and raised in America, Texas. So Paxi told him that it's okay, I am okay to get married in Canada. Ricky was so happy, told her, I'm glad. But as you know, my love, I really want to get married to you, but money is an issue, but we can achieve that. <laughs> so I've got a plan, a plan that is going to help us become very rich and also help us get married, pay for everything for you to come here. So when they had started talking, Ricky told her is working as a nurse but also does business trading btc investment in canada so the plan that he told her is that they are going to open a joint bank account whereby they will all be depositing money in that joint bank account but it's an investment once you deposit then you start getting interests okay <laughs> my god mm. online dating can be really challenging if you don't shine your eyes so guys paxa did not shine her eyes accepted the whole idea and then ricky told her the requirements that were needed for them to open that bank account i know some of you really hate scamming stories but please watch the story till the end. You will learn a lot and you'll also get to understand why Paxa <laughs> did what she did. So Ricky told her requirement number one was her passport, her ID, once her bank account number, the password to the bank account, the password to her emails and her home address. Paxa gave him all the documents that he requested so that they can open that joint bank account. I know right now you're asking yourself, was Ricky the one to open that bank account? Yes, he was the one to open that bank account in Canada and Paxa was only going to be depositing money every month. And the amount they agreed on was 2000 rands. So yes, after Ricky receiving all her documents, told her, that's good, I am going to be opening that joint bank account and this month you should start depositing the money. The relationship started September 2022 and when the account was opened was October 2022. So yes, Ricky opened that joint bank account and told her you should start depositing money. Paxa was like, it's okay. And she was at peace, you know, they are investing money to become rich. They are investing money to later on live together, have a very big wedding that they wanted to have. So all was good guys. And this guy kept on being sweet, could send her Bible verses, Paxa tells you whenever she could go to church, could pray for him, God to protect him, could pray for their relationship. Oh God, sometimes I wish that those prayers turns into a curse to those guys because you're out there busy praying for the guy, a guy who is only, you know, laughing at you, a guy who is only playing games on you. It's so sad and very annoying. So guys, Paxa kept on depositing money every end month. Whenever she could receive her salary, she could deposit the money to their joint account and tells us sometimes they could talk, talk, talk. Then the guy could bring money talks. And then it happened that one month, Paxa couldn't be able to deposit the money into that joint account 
because wanted to help her mom back home, wanted some money. When she told Ricky, Ricky became so aggressive, was like, no, you have to find a way you deposit money. You can't play with that bank account. It's so important to us. So do all you can, even if it is to sell your clothes, sell them. Even if it is go to the church, ask for a loan, ask for a loan and deposit the money to our joint bank account. Paxa was like, no, they will not be able to give me the money, the loan, so I won't be able to deposit money. The guy stressed her. The guy was like, you can't go against our agreement, otherwise you are going to be sued. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, this is business, you know? <laughs> so Paxa tried herself hard to cut the money, you know, small sent to the mother and also the remaining one had to take it, deposit to the bank. But the guy did not understand. And then the following month, Paxa became sick. So she had to take care of herself, use the money to buy medicines. Oh goodness, the guy could call, the guy could send messages, you have to deposit money. I don't care you are sick, you have to deposit the money. Paxa told him, I don't have the money to deposit, I've used the whole of the money to take care of myself. The guy was like, I don't care what you're going to tell me, even if it is to go sell your body and get the money, go do it get the money deposit it and he also added that if you find someone to sleep with you i'm sure no one will want to sleep with you guys that's manipulation i don't know why you should allow a guy treat you in that kind of a way i don't know why you should allow a guy manipulate you to that extent it's really really sad even to hear i'm going to be putting ricky's message here to paxa telling her to go sell her body so that she can get the money to deposit in that joint bank account. Ricky was really evil, trying to put her down, trying to make her believe that she is the ugliest woman ever. She has got him only. No any other man will even want her. That's bad. That's manipulation. I repeat, no man should tell you you are ugly. No man should tell you it's only me that can accept you, but no any other man can accept you, can love you like the way I love you. No. If you don't treat me right, of course, I am going to walk away. I don't care what you tell me. I will move forward because I know I will find someone who will love me. Never ever accept their words to get into you. Please, please. So when Paxa got that message, was really surprised. How can someone who loves you tell you something like that? Then started going on YouTube and God is good came across my YouTube video. She watched one of my videos and then wrote to me on Instagram. When I saw her DM, oh my God, <laughs> my body became hot. My blood was boiling. I was like, this girl is being scammed. We have to stop this scammer. Because at that time she was writing to me, didn't know was dealing with a scammer. Was still in love with a guy, but at the same time was not understanding how the guy is behaving. So after listening to a bit of her story, I was like, where did you meet this guy? What kind of a dating app? She was like, Bella, I met him on dating.com. I was like, what? Girl, how many videos of mine have you watched? Because sometimes I get angry and be like, every day I make videos, I go on a community post, I warn you guys about these dating apps. But still comes ladies and they're like, Bella, I was on dating.com, Bella, I was on Amo Latino, Bella, I was on Euro dating, I was on dating my age, I met a guy whereby I've told you those dating apps, they've got their own tricks. It's not that they are genuine dating apps. They are not at all. They are full of scammers. They are full of guys who are there to chat with you, make you keep paying, and they get paid some commissions. That's all that they are doing. That's why it is very difficult 
to find a guy on those dating apps like dating.com who will go out and chat with you on WhatsApp. Axel's situation is kind, unique, and different, you know, to find a guy on dating.com who will chat with you aside of dating.com. But we see what was his motive to move out of dating.com. If he remained still, he could have been paid the commission. But he moved out and wanted, you know, to scam a lady by himself, get everything <laughs> from this lady. Oh my God. Some guys can be so inhuman. Guys, imagine the job that Paxa is doing and then you come to scam her. So another important question that I asked Paxa, by the way, we were chatting, I could send her voice messages. She couldn't get to hear them due to network. Was like, Bella, I don't know what to do. I am really frustrated. And guys, these things are to be taken so seriously. Some people can reach an extent of taking their lives. So I was really, really scared and I told her, girl, take my WhatsApp number. I'm not someone who gives my WhatsApp numbers so easily like that. Not at all. I told you guys. <laughs> but with Paxa, I was totally ready. <laughs> I exchanged with her my WhatsApp numbers and immediately she looked for me. I had to call her and I asked her another question. Have you ever talked with Ricky on a video call? Guys, this is where you get shocked. She told me never talked with Ricky on a video call. Whenever she could ask for a video call, it could be an excuse. Excuse after excuses. So all this while their relationship lasted for eight months, they were only chatting. They could only call on a voice call, not a video call. I was like, oh my God, Paxa, why? But why? I have been singing. Ladies, make sure you talk on a video call so that you get to see whom you are dealing with. There is another lady I was talking to last time on Instagram. She was like, was using dating.com or I don't know, date my age. I told her, that dating app is not genuine it's full of scammers it's full of people who are there you know to take advantage of you then she was like but bella i've been to other dating apps they are full of scammers <laughs> Oh my God. And the same lady who did a video, I told you, there is no dating app that you will join and you won't find scammers. You won't find players. It is up to you to differentiate, but at least we know a dating app like Afro Introductions. We know a dating app like F Dating exists real, real men that you will chat. They will give you their WhatsApp numbers. And if you join, you won't get all that attention that you will get on dating.com because those guys are businessmen. They know what they're doing. They know how to convince you to pay and keep paying, keep chatting, keep paying. <laughs> I did my research. That's how it works. It's not that I'm here to destroy someone's business. No, this is the truth to help you guys. I joined those dating apps and I could get sweet messages. Guys telling me, have you ever went on a cruise to the Bahamas? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god it was sweet sweet words i could get lots of messages and i could only laugh because i knew those were only their strategies to make me start paying <laughs> so if i tell you those are not genuine you have to trust me trust you girl <laughs> you imagine guys you have been chatting with a guy you have never seen him on a video call but you go ahead, believe that the guy is going to marry you. You go ahead, introduce him to your family. You start creating curses in the air, fall in love with him. And to make matters worse, you invest. Oh my goodness. Put your money, the money that you work hard for into the guy that you have never seen only his words i'm talking to you dear beautiful ladies that are watching this video never do such kind of a mistake and the reason to ask paxa this story is for you guys to learn from her mistake don't fall in love with the guy before seeing the actions i've been saying video call is a must no matter what he tells you if he's not ready to see you on a video call 
end that relationship, move forward, you will find someone else that is real that will be able to talk to you on a video call. Money talks. I repeat, a guy brings money talks. I don't know how he's going to bring it out when you hear money talks, any money talks. Block the guy because it will not end well. Guys, you don't know how many ladies I have saved who were about to open the bank accounts in their country. You chat with a guy, you haven't even created anything concrete. He is there telling you, open a bank account. I want to invest in your country. Like seriously, are you looking for love or you're looking for someone to help you do an investment? You need to ask yourself that when you go on online dating apps, you are going there to search for true love. If you're chatting with a guy, it should be love, 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 our love, our love, our love, and not money and not investment. Please, dear beautiful ladies. So guys, when Paxa looked for me, was desperately looking for help and told me, Bella, I am super scared. I don't know what this guy is going to do to me because he knows my home address. I've given him my email address, my password, and my password for my bank account where my salary goes. So he is telling me if I stop depositing money into that joint bank account, he's going to hunt me down. He will take me to court. I was like, listen, Paxa, this guy is a scammer and he is the one that is wrong. He is the one to be taken to the court. He is the one to be reported to the police, not to you. So you shouldn't accept him to threat you. And even if he threatens you, do not care. He can't do anything. The bad thing is that we don't know where this guy is coming from, like his origin, because you have never seen him. You only talk with him on a voice call, so we cannot tell, but he won't be able to do anything bad to you. She was like, right now I'll go and stay at my friend's place. I told her that's a good idea. Go to the bank, report and change your password. After that, change your email address password with a passport. I don't know what he can do with it, but do not worry. If it is possible, go to the police and report this. Don't block him right away before you change your bank account password. It's like, okay, Bella, I'm going to do as you advised me. And I remember it was after a Friday premiere. I had premiered a video. So the next day was Saturday, which is weekend. Told me he's going to go to the bank on Monday, but told me what scares me the most he keeps on sending me messages, pressuring me to deposit the money. I was like, ignore his messages. If he calls you, do not pick. Keep ignoring him until you're done with changing your passwords. But to be honest with you, talking with her, hearing how down she was, hearing how scared she was, I was sure she was not going to walk away from that guy. She was going to keep on pleasing him cause felt like he has got me here. And it's true. He had her here. Never do a mistake that Paxa did. Never share your personal information with anyone that you meet on online dating apps. Never ever. I've told you, you are chatting with a guy. You haven't seen him in real life. He is totally a stranger and we don't know how people can go far to get what they want, especially these scammers. So guys, I kept on encouraging her, telling her walk away in that relationship, change your passwords, do not accept. But again, guys, behind the scene, these people have been communicating for eight months. The bond that they have created, you can't just break it like that. Because even after telling her the guy is a scammer, she was still, you know, in a disbelief if the guy is a scammer. That is how I felt. But I kept on praying to God to give her the courage to move out of that toxic relationship that was draining her, that was only taking her money. So guys, this Ricky, so-called Canadian guy, kept on disturbing the lady, threatening her with lots of messages, and she kept on ignoring 
did not block him because blocking him was going to cause more trouble. Remember, the guy has got all her important information, important documents. But guess what, guys? God is good because this guy, I don't know how he forgot that <laughs> he has been busy scamming a lady, saying he is a white guy from Canada, raised in America posted a story on his WhatsApp status. In that story, it's like he went on a wedding and he was wearing this cute Nigerian traditional attire, you know, dancing with happiness. A very young guy, handsome guy, Paxa tells you he looks super cute. You know, those juicy guys. <laughs> that i've been telling you that's how that scammer looks i was like bella if you look at him you won't believe he is a scammer and that's how paxa came to find out that guy was never a white guy was never a canadian guy was never an american guy but a nigerian guy very very sad so when she saw that story it was like okay so you are a nigerian guy you have been scamming me just like the way bella told me okay never wrote to him nothing kept quiet kept on ignoring him and then came father's day <laughs> when father's day came this guy posted himself and his father again on his whatsapp status Baxter tells us they look alike, you know, <laughs> like father, like son. Oh my goodness. And from there, she couldn't stop herself. I was like, no, I have to tell this guy the truth that I know you are a scammer. You have been lying to me all this long that you are a white guy. So what she did, wrote a message to him, was like, I need a video call. I need to see you on a video call. If you make a video call, we will continue with our our plans <laughs> of the investment the guy blah 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 but eventually made a video call voila he is a black guy <laughs> our nigerian brother but very very cute paxa tells you so they talked and he was like i'm so so sorry paxa for everything that i did to you but you know chatting with you for all this long i am in love with you please forgive me so that we can continue with our relationship at that time paxa never wanted to insult him because still was in the process of changing everything so paxa was like because you have asked for forgiveness, I forgive you. But keeping on the relationship with you, let me think about it. But tells us deep inside her heart, for sure, did not forgive Ricky at all for what he did, all the games that he played, all the money that he took, because it reached a point where he wanted 10,000 runs to be deposited and that was a lot of money for Paxa to raise so after the truth coming out making a video call him asking for forgiveness eventually Paxa was able to change all her passwords and decided to block Ricky yes as I'm talking right now Ricky got blocked so guys I know right now you want to ask this one question to Paxa Paxa, why did you do it? <laughs> I asked her that too because I wanted to know how did that even happen, you know? How did it reach to that extent, that level of manipulation? She was like, Bella, this guy had sweet words. Oh my God. You couldn't refuse to his words and he made sure that I fell in love with him due to the words he could tell me. He could tell me the words that I wanted to hear from a man. That's why he was able to manipulate me. I did everything I did for love. But I am here to tell you guys, please <laughs> don't get drunk in love. Shine your eyes. Follow all the tips that I have been giving you and even the tips that I've given in this video. To make a video call, avoid money talks, you know. A guy tells you, I'm alone, I don't have anyone in my life, be careful. Because that might be a red flag. A guy that involves three countries in your talk, I did a shot and I told you. 
<laughs> it's a red flag too. But it's not that those things cannot happen. A guy can't be coming from, let's say, Serbia and goes to work in Germany. It can happen. But what follows after him telling you that matters a lot determines if the guy is real or he is just one of those players or scammers so as much as you're very very angry yes i know at paxa please let us give her words of encouragement because last time i was talking to her she told me bella i am still hurt this guy left a scar in my heart that when I think about it, I cry. I can't stop myself from crying. So dear beautiful friends, that is her situation. So I wouldn't want you guys to start insulting her, calling her all sorts of names. She accepted to do this video so that everyone can learn. And I am here to guide her through her journey so that she doesn't fall into the hands of the wrong man on online dating apps. So dear friends, I am about to end this video, but I want to give you this one last tip. The things that I'm talking about are the things that I've talked about already, but cause these things are keeping on happening. I can't stop talking about them. Paying for a dating app doesn't mean you are going to find the one. That is why I did a video. I told you on how to use dating apps on a free version. Avoid those dating apps that will seem too good to be true. There is no reality. If you join Afro introductions and you join date my age, you can see the difference from the attention you will get from men on Afro introductions and the attention you will get from men on date my age or dating.com or amo latino or euro dating on these dating apps you receive loads of attention from cute guys all of them have got those career jobs they are businessmen you know <laughs> young that is what you are going to see on these dating apps that are not genuine but when you go on afro introductions you will put your profile yes players will come but not the same attention at all not everyone will be telling you're so beautiful this is my luckiest day i want to take you on a luxurious cruise ship <laughs> lie down with you on the beach it is sunset you know kissing you <laughs> Those are the messages you will see on these dating apps that I've mentioned. But on Afro introduction, totally a different story because here there is reality. Here there is fakeness. Lots, lots of fakeness. People are just doing business. Simple as that. So take my advice of using these dating apps on a free version. You will find love for free. We have seen how many success stories I've shared. 99.9% .9 of the success love stories I've shared here on my channel are of ladies who found love on online dating apps for free using the free version so why not you it's gonna happen to you too keep believing in god keep praying to god tell him exactly what you want don't just ask for a man <laughs> tell him exactly how that man should be and he will bring him to you so dear friends we have come to an end of our today's video thank you so much for watching this video till now god bless you i appreciate much Please, if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Comment below what you think about this video. I would like to know. Please, if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mm.